What's up, everybody? Welcome to the stream. Thank you for tuning in to the live stream. Ah, how's everybody doing? Uh, we've got K over here. Hello. How come I cannot see the name when I click you? So I I do see Raymond on the other side on um on Facebook, and then we've got K that's like on YouTube. So if you do not know, I'm actually simultaneously streaming on both Facebook and also YouTube. And then we've got Adrian. Adrian is in the house. Hello everybody. Thank you for tuning in. All right. My name is John. By the way, if you do not know, you are watching. Um, this is the Journal Studios, and today. We're going to be answering some of the questions that may pop up in your mind when you are researching wedding photography, right? Uh, hi, Hanley. Hello, hello. Uh, I'm here to help you better understand um, us wedding photographers so you can ask the right questions uh, that can help you to land a photographer um, for your perfect wedding. Okay, uh... Now, I'm not sure how many of you are in the audience right now. Um, again, uh, we are broadcasting simultaneously live, so I'm I'm monitoring everything. Like I've got like so many screens in front of me, it's crazy. So bear with me if I'm like moving things around a little bit, and uh, I'll be getting to you shortly. So I hope some of you in the audience have, are happily married. Kudos to you, so that this is probably possibly you are very experienced in this field, and maybe some of you are listening in. You are uh, planning your wedding right now, so let's keep the conversation going, and we are able to do some Q and A's later in the middle of the stream, and also at the end of the stream. So keep your questions like you know in a group, so that I don't need to scroll up and down the whole entire uh, one hour through uh, the whole entire life. Okay. Um, let's see. Okay, let's start with my introduction. We're gonna dive straight, uh, straight away in, okay? Because um, it's gonna be feature pack. There's a lot of things I want to be showing y'all. So let's let's start with an introduction where. Hey, <laughs> hold on, yeah. That thing is not moving. Let me see. Uh, screw it. My. My screen share is not moving. My OS screen capture, keynote. There you go. All right, it got stuck in number one just now. All right, let's start with some introduction to my work to break the ice. I've been shooting weddings for more than a decade of my life right now. Well, close to 15 years. The work that I'm showing you today are a collection of work combination of various weddings that I've shot and from different walks of life, right? Mostly recent portfolios, okay? Um, something that very uh, familiar with me, a typical wedding day, uh, I should start with me being at the wedding location during the preparation. So this is like one of the venue that I've been shooting. And, you know, um, we are there during the preparation and you may ask why we photograph preparation and it's just getting ready what you know why wh why are we there so early to actually photograph these things now if you ask yourself uh if you need a photographer of getting ready then maybe today we will be answering some of those questions okay when we arrive usually our brides are getting ready with her makeup and hair and the groom is possibly just chilling you know um they get ready a little bit easier because you know there's no makeup they just like wear and wear their suits and go right i'm trying to oh, i'm describing all these things because i'm trying to bring you guys um in an experience how the day will unfold during a wedding all right and uh, we begin by photographing elements like this um uh, wedding details what's not to love about spiky shoes and a big rock eh uh yeah and um wedding preparations are chances for us to shoot these uh, details like the stationaries right a piece of jewelry that was handed down uh, being a family heirloom and this particular bracelet um, that's displayed over here together with the uh, perfume and it was given given by the mom of the bride right so these are the imagery that we create during uh, when we are there Right, and some more details, a bottle of perfume used um, on the wedding day and of course the wedding rings, 
right? So that, that's what we've been uh, uh, photographing when we are there. So all these things are happening. Uh, we are photographing uh, all these details. Um, this particular photo I really like because of how the light falls onto the shoes. Uh, these photographs are building blocks to a great portfolio at the end of the day, right? So this is also some decoration, uh, a little bit more oriental, uh, theme driven because this was for a tea ceremony, a Chinese uh, wedding, right? Um, and these are the Chinese invitation card, of course, again with rings. Okay, uh, there are okay. This this particular photo is a little bit nice. I I, I kind of like this one. This there is a Bible that was at the bride's room, uh, and. We flip the Bible to the verse that says, love is patient, love is kind. Um, and I placed the engagement ring on the Bible itself. And if you can see, um, there are some clever lighting that's um, happening over here. The light drove the attention to the rock while the rest of the ring falls into the shadow. So it gives you more attention to the rock itself. All right. Uh, here are some groom's detail. Uh, this is what the groom will be wearing for the day. We've got his uh, nice little Rolex over there. Uh, suit, shoes, bow tie, whatever. Um, and um, these are f these are the wedding flowers, the bouquet, uh, the bouquet flower. And you know what? Here's a pop quiz for you guys. Okay, type in the chat. Okay, type in the chat uh, and answer this. Where do you think? Where do you think I shot this photo at? Like right now, you see uh, the background is white in color, right? And and it's like, it's beautiful light, you know, uh, everything looks good. Um, sometimes with photography, the best place to shoot details are the most bizarre places that all of us don't think of. So um, give it a give it a guess how how I shot this. Where where did I shot this? You know, type in the comments and then let's see where you guys are uh, going with this. <laughs> let's see the chat. No, nobody nobody is typing. Okay, well, I mean, I'm just gonna reveal it if nobody is like participating. And it was actually <laughs> photographed. At the bathtub, right <laughs> next to this wonderful light that suits um, uh, in the suits of one and only Desaru. Um, this was like literally taken last weekend on the on the Saturday when I was in Johor shooting this wedding. Okay, you could see like um, the bathtub is actually situated next to a, a big light source window, and <laughs> the bathtub we just put there. The curvation of uh, the curvature of the the bathtub. And a white color gave it like really nice soft light that's like you know putting into uh to 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 make the the <laughs> the the how to say the bridal bouquet looks nice the color and everything right so some of you say um it's on the bed uh some of you say um it's on the wall uh, so Lee says that's in a hotel room and then it's a luxury bathtub. <laughs> yeah, very clean. Yes, it is a luxury bathtub. One and only is a re quite a new um, resort, okay? And it's in this Desaru Johor. Um, it's a luxury villa, this one, actually. So uh, how this location is, is you have the, um, the bathroom detached from the living room to the bedroom so you have like a foyer outside and all so it's a very big villa this one it's really nice though i gotta say so yeah that's what happened all right you get this kind of result right not too shabby eh? a, a bathtub <laughs> well thanks for guessing guys yay uh so moving on um in between of like getting all these wedding details right we are there to be also shooting uh, the getting ready shots of the bride, right? So in between, like I'm arranging all these wedding details next to the beautiful lights and whatsoever. I'm also observing what's happening around us. And a lot of times when couples, when they hire me, they tell me, John, we don't like posy kind of photos, okay? We want it natural, we want it. Uh, candid, right? So many of these times that the couple are not comfortable being in front of camera. And 
it's not normal uh, being in front of camera, to be honest. It's, it's like the spotlight is on you. You, know? you, you guys are feeling all right at the other side right now watching me and I have to try to feel normal because the camera is right in front of me. I'm trying to talk to y'all. And, you know, there was a little butterfly that's going on when I started the stream and I was like, you know, oh, this is a planless attacking uh, attack slide by slide. You know, this is, a, uh, this is how I'm going to do it. And I didn't even pause like, you know, how's everything? And, and also, I, I just went into it. So I myself being in front of the camera, I don't, I don't feel really comfortable right now. But you know what? We try to, we try to. And um, hopefully when, when I shoot a wedding and when you guys are in front of the camera, I try to make it as normal as possible, right? So I can relate because right now I'm on the receiving end, right? Now from experience, right? Some of the best wedding that I shot are photographs that I created together with a couple. And let me ask you guys this, all right? Okay, so type in the comment below again. Do you think that these photographs are candid shots? All right? Hi, Lance. Creative. I think, Henley, you are referring to the bathtub photo, yeah? So these, these, Lance, Lance say no, it's, it's not posed. Uh, Lance, you're a wedding photographer, aren't you not? <laughs> I'm like trying to guess uh, what profession my, uh, my, my viewers are watching. It. So how many of you are getting married in the stream? How many people are watching right now? There are five people on, on Facebook Live right now. And I've got, for the life of me, do not know how many people on YouTube. Okay. Um, you see... These photographs are posed in a, in a way that what happened was we, you know, things happen. You are getting, uh, the, the bride is going to get ready anyway, right? And these are, uh, you know, gestures of uh, her putting up her uh, wedding earring before she changed into her wedding gown. Right? And she, when she does that, I ask her, you know, why don't you sit at the corner of the bed next to the window? We get this shot. We get this shot done and you get these kind of photos. So it is somewhat posed. It is somewhat candid because things are unfolding anyway. I, what I do as a photographer, I put her in a situation where uh, she looks nice to be photographed in. And that's what happened. Right? So... It is posed in that way. So, um, at the end of the day, we want to create these uh, photographs that looks natural uh, and, and, and is believable when you look at it. And you don't... I don't want people to walk away from a wedding, right? Thinking that they are great actors and whatever. Because at the end of the day, this is a wedding. We are not doing a production house, that kind of thing, right? So, yeah. <laughs> Raymond, after seeing your work, I'm tempted to get married. Okay, let me know. Call me up, okay? Call me up. I'll be at the wedding. I'm not sure if I'm shooting, but I'll be at the wedding. <laughs> oh, you guys crack me up. Uh, okay, where am I? Okay, next slide. These are posts, uh, certainly. These are posts, um, these are photographs um, that happened right after the makeup, right? And uh, she sits there, she's still in her getting ready gown. And, and she, she actually brought her mannequin, um, you know, with her wedding gown there. And we get these photos done. Okay. How is it so far, guys? How is it so far? How are the photos? <sighs> Ta -da. Um, this is a photo of the mom-in-law getting ready together with the bride. Okay, when the right people get together for the prep, it creates photography opportunity. Right? Um, okay, what it is in front of her are. Uh, the bridesmaid's dresses on the right hand side 
And on the left is actually the wedding gown. You do not know because it's all blurred and everything. And uh, the the mom in law is actually um, in focus, right? The thing is that the dynamic is that this they have a villa. They gather together to get ready. They have like different uh, makeup artists over there. Um, they are just running the errands, slowly getting the day going, getting prepared for the wedding. So that kind of dynamics when they have people together. It creates f- photography opportunity. So um, um, this is possibly how you may want to be planning a wedding if you are planning one. Okay. Um, well, these moments happened in between of us being there shooting the preparation and wedding details. All right. So this is this is from the same wedding. Uh, the mom in law and then that's the bride uh, getting ready. I don't usually show a lot of photographs when where the the bride is like in a getting ready process and it's not all made up. But this is one of those moments that, hey, you know, it's, it's presentable enough. Um, that's debatable though, but yeah, much more like this, okay? She's wearing a kebaya um, for a tea ceremony, Chinese tea ceremony, this one. Some of the best preparation shots are done um, where there's a big light source, like the window light, just right in front of her, okay? So there you go. That's the bride with that I said about the getting ready, but this was a day earlier because um, you know the one with the mother-in-law with the with the blurred foreground, that one, and also when she was getting ready with all the hair buns up. This is the same bride, but they, this was a day before where they are doing the tea ceremony and that's getting ready. All right. So there are many ways of actually shooting wedding details. One of it, she's holding the um, the ring, the engagement ring. So this is the groom getting ready on the other side, right? Um, that's uh, the grooms and the groomsmen, um, also the brother in this particular shot. Now, all these photographs, I can remember them vividly because these are like uh, portraits, uh, portfolios done in the last three, four months, right? Um, yeah, uh, this, this this one is uh, in 2018, right? Uh, she's French. Uh, I just love how graceful this photograph is, right? Um, I love her makeup, I love her hair, I love her gown, and uh, she's just wearing, slid, sliding on, uh, sliding on her pair of shoes, getting ready, all right? So this is the bride that was wearing the chi, uh, the chi bao, right? Some of the most important photos I make are photos that's, um, that's even before the wedding ceremony actually began, and these family photos that we make after the bride and group, uh, sorry, um, what did I write on my notes here? Um, what I'm trying to say is that these are very important photos. And if there's one thing that you want us to be photographing, getting ready, if you don't have your, um, you know, your wedding advice, you don't even have uh, wedding rings or whatever, having people that your 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 family, your your thing, this is. Uh, worth it enough to have a wedding photographer to be shooting your getting ready. That's what I'm trying to say. Because everybody celebrates wedding differently. I've, I've wrote that on the notes. And if you value photograph, how come it's not moving? Oops. It's frozen. Why is it frozen? I do not know. There you go. All right, so, and if you value photographing, uh, photograph of your family, this is the best time to get these photographs made. All right, think about it, right? You get ready, um, you're ready for the wedding, you're still fresh, you're in the room, mm, you're all made up, your parents are all made up, right? That's the best time, because if you were to go out, the heat was gonna kill you, you gotta be uh, rushing for things, at the ceremony, you'll be entertaining guests. So prior to all that, you want to be shooting these family photos. All right. Okay. 
Now, part of the getting ready are also having opportunities to photograph the bridesmaids, bridesmaids getting ready. Like, again, you know, let, let me re reiterate again, where, you know, the bridesmaids are getting ready together. You have chances to get these photos done if you do that, right? That's a uh, some uh, last minute prep for the ceremony. She's reading the Love is Kind passage. Um, she's going to be presenting this scripture um, at the wedding ceremony. And that's what she's going to be reading out later on. So back to the groom side of things, you know, simple portraits like this, two dudes hanging out. Um, I think it's just nice. Nothing difficult, really. They are just sitting around, right? But how often do you have people actually sitting ar around like this and then look in the camera and get a photo done? All right. Uh, if you are enjoying this, if, if these, these photographs are great, if, if you think uh, this, this live stream is um, going on all right, if you've got friends who are wanting to get married, um, do share it out to, uh, in, your, in your profile that people can come in and check out this live stream. If you, if you like the photos, just press one. Just let me know while I'm just going to move on with all these slides that I have. So these are some of the last minute photographs of people that's, that matters to the bride and groom and they gather together right before the wedding ceremony, before they head out to the lawn, before they head out to the beach. And that's what happened. Bridesmaids. Bridesmaids again. Now that that's that's one reason why I've been putting a lot of the bridesmaids on because I'm one person, right, on a wedding and I do shoot with two wedding mm -hmm. photographers. These are mostly my shots uh, that I'm showing you guys. Right? <laughs> not to say that the, the groomsmen's shots are not not nice, it's just that I like to show my shots a little bit more. <laughs> just so you know. Okay. There, groomsmen, groomsmen. All right, thanks, Raymond. Raymond, between between you guys hearing me, I think it's a good twenty to thirty seconds delay. So that's that's why I, I feel like there there wasn't really much of a response because the delay is there. But anyway, thank you for acknowledging. Groomsmen, yeah, there you go. Okay. Once I move the cursor off my keynote, Ryan, <laughs> I got to find the cursor back to the keynote where I stopped. And at last, we also photograph the bride right before we head out. So think about it, right? You have people getting ready to uh, to get up with you. We photograph them once they're all ready, and then we let them go. Go to the ceremony. Wait for the thing, uh, for the event to start. And I retain the bride, and I retain the bride. And what happened is that I then, after that, shoot these, uh, these um, portraits of the bride, right? Um, in the comfort of room, um, and nice lights and all. If the location is good, utilize it, right? So this is what happened. And then we've got the groom. Simple timeless photos and then another bride and then the bride <laughs> okay so the all these are portraits of bride and grooms right before they go out to the ceremony and then of course let's move on to the ceremonies I've got to say that, you know, I, I get to travel for work. This is pre-pandemic. Um, and I get to cover some of the most amazing weddings out there. Um, this particular shot was done at the Lila uh, Place. Is it Lila Place or Lila Palace? I can't remember. At Udaipur, India. Quite an extravagant wedding. I was there for like a good, what? four or five days, I can't remember. This is gotta be like, what, in 2018, if I remember correctly. Um, the hotel is surrounded in a lake, by the lake, right? The, the hotel is surrounded by a lake, yeah. <laughs> Grandma. And 
these supporters are from the money ceremony of the bride that just applied all the hand outs in the hands and legs. You could see the dancing pose that I made for her uh, underneath the, the skirt, uh, the, the legs are all filled with henna and also the, the hands over here. And this was her, the photo on the right, basically, she's, uh, remember I told you guys about the lake? She's taking a boat back to the mainland to head uh, for the Sangit uh, for the evening. All right. And this is another uh, ceremony, the Haldi ceremony, where the bride is uh, bathed with turmeric and coconut milk, usually blessed by their family and friends. You can see that uh, she's being drenched from the top with all the all, all the all the turmeric and the coconut milk, right? And uh, the photo on the right is actually the grandmother blessing her. It gets a little bit messy. It's quite picturesque. I kind of like it. I like moments like this. And if I were to sh uh, photograph uh, ceremonies like this, this is just picturesque. That's why I wanted to show you guys. Uh, it's so different from, say, a, a, a Western ceremony where you walk down the aisle and everything, right? This is just beautiful. To show you more about this ceremony, this happened at night, um, the actual wedding day itself, uh, where they have... Um, the how to say tying the the tali and all um yeah that that is like almost at the moment of that and then it looks like that the groom and the bride now i can tell you you know just the udaipo wedding i can come up with the whole entire live session right so stay tuned I, I do not know how this is going to uh, go as in like I'm trying this live session out to share with you guys potentially a bride and groom that's getting married. I hope this can help you all in planning your wedding better simply through all the photographs that I'm sharing. Right? And if you guys are interested, you know, um, yeah, just 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 mail me. I've got my email over here, info at journal.com or you can just scan the QR code and um, you'll be able to reach out to me and say, hey, I totally enjoy your live session, you know, I want to participate more, you know, uh, then I'll be able to do more of this. Okay. Um, yeah, certainly. So this this is the one that Udaipur and I can come up with another live session totally. All right, here's a, another wedding that I've shot. Um, this was done in San Diego, California. You can see how blue the sky is. It's nothing like Malaysia, it's just different. The, the sky over there is different from Malaysia. And to the contrast is this, right? This is in San Regis in Langkawi. It's beautiful. Uh, beach at the back, you have um, Kayu Puti. That's the uh, restaurant um, at the San Regis, Langkawi. You can have, you see the decoration all done up uh, for the ceremony. This is in Four Seasons, Langkawi. All right, that's the Ruba, the iconic Ruba in Four Seasons, Langkawi. Um, and overlooking from, so you saw you saw the ruba, right? If I were to stand just like in front of the tree, facing outwards towards uh, the chair, we'll see the beach and the vast white sand uh, at the Four Seasons Langkawi. All right, so these are moments before the uh, the ceremony. The the mom actually move out together with uh, uh, with the bride in a car. No particular reason, to be honest, because San Regis is not that big. Uh, instead of a, I guess, in, instead of a, a, a buggy, they had a car. They rented a car to get uh, to the the ceremony area. It's hot, though, I gotta say. All right, so the, the dad and the bride walking down uh, from the villa, uh, from the villa to the ceremony area. So this one, no, no car, just walk. And at the aisle, bright at the aisle, greeting the grass, uh, the dad's giving her away. Um, and these are moments during the ceremony, exchanging of vows. Remember that vow thingy, the uh, love is patient, love is kind? Yeah, she's reading that out. And this, this was, <laughs> this was shot last Saturday, it was raining. I wanted to 
showcase to y'all, you know, even like rains like this, light drizzle with the umbrellas out. Uh, that looks pretty nice uh, and interesting wedding because, you know, every single wedding can be different. I, I love this shot. This was, again, uh, the last wedding that I shot over at uh, the one and only. You can see there's like very tiny little droplets of water. That's the rain. And also the groom actually, well, it's not that he had something in her, his eye. He was actually tearing up because, uh, yeah, he wrote the vows and everything. And she, he was just taking the moment in totally. Right. And the moment <laughs> after they say, you may kiss the bride and presenting you uh, the, uh, the newlyweds and they walk out, petals are flying, people are happy. And what is interesting to me, uh, like I say, a little bit different is that people are holding up umbrellas and things like that because it was a drizzling wedding. This is a church wedding, uh, a little moment that the bride and groom is um, sharing through the sermons. Uh, I remember this is, uh, I think the pastor was, uh, you know, giving a very interesting sermon and they were totally uh, laughing out loud and, and soaking it in uh, prayers. Prayers during the sermon, during the church ceremony, and this is tea ceremony. So this is a Chinese tea ceremony that happens um, in a typical wedding here in uh, KL. You know, um, bridesmaids and ceremonies like this. All these traditions um, are photo opportunity for us. All right, back into the San Diego wedding. This is how it looks like by the aisle uh, from the top area view. Wedding of San Diego with everyone seated and the bridal party perfectly aligned symmetry on the left and the right. So, <laughs> this is possible probably the largest crowd that I shot of a group photo like this. It works out okay, I guess. I mean, not so much of the fella at the back. I, I <laughs> you can't, you totally cannot see who's actually behind, but. The fact that everybody's in the photo is kind of nice, I gotta say. I, I, I guess, right, a photo like this is not really about telling whether you can see your face or not, right? If you're standing behind, I mean, uh, good radiance to you. <laughs> but to me, or rather to the couple, the family is there, the uh, bridal party is there, uh, and, and they are forefront. I think, I think that's, um, that's, that's important. Right, and of course, um, this is a little bit more manageable, a smaller crowd uh, here in Malaysia, um, here in the destination wedding, right? And then I've done this so many times. These are important photos that I make uh, for the couples uh, for the for in a wedding, right? And again, this one, this one, these are family photos. After that, so we we do break down into smaller groups like this. Right. Or perhaps maybe, if you've got time, we move to another location to get this kind of family photo because these, I, this is possibly one of the better uh, family photos I've taken on a wedding day because I've got time to actually position them. I've got all these Tiffany chairs, going color, I think. They look great. And <laughs> I position them. Uh, they are like the TVB drama kind of a poster shot. Um... Yeah. So let's go to the bridal party, right? So after the ceremony, right? Um, the guests, they they we done the formalities of uh, having those group shots and everything. Once we're done with that, we release all the guests. We want to be shooting the bridal party, right? Of course, uh, because these are the one people who are closest to you, dress up for your wedding, and think about like. In the, ten, uh, in the next 10 years, when you are flipping through your wedding albums or when you're just seeing your photos, you want to see your closest friends all looking good in photos like this. All right. So this is with the bridesmaid. Um, this is it's actually at the Fairmont View at La Jolla in San Diego. Um, that's, that's the building, Fairmont View. Um, that's the the resort actually they all look so good in 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 same suits and all right and they're all wearing sunglasses 
kudos to them, right? So after the bridal party, we let go the bridal party, and then we focus on the bride and groom, right? If you're lucky, we get really beautiful sunset. We free up the bridal party and get back to uh, also uh, and get them to go back being guests for the wedding, while we focus on the uh, bride and groom. And if you're lucky, we get this beautiful sunset by the beach. If you're not, you know this couple uh, didn't have the sunset, but they do have an overcast sky. Still looking good, all right? Uh, simply overcast. We still have a great backdrop here at the Kayu Puti restaurant uh, where they hosted their wedding dinner. Sunset photos. So, um, Lance asks, uh, any tips on shooting against backlight? Always struggle with that. Always expose for the subject. You expose for the subject, number one, if you're using a somewhat modern camera, you can, uh, you can pull it back a little or don't photograph um, with backlights. Always photograph where the light is shining the other way. All right. Let's move on. We are almost at the end of this portfolio showcase. So more sunset photos. Um, this is another couple that I shot. This is at the Datai Beach over in Langkawi. Um, this is Sam Regis during golden hour. A lot of photographs that we make sometimes have to depend on luck. Beautiful sunsets and good weather, right? And the rest, having us there um, planning the wedding together with the couple will increase the chances of these photography opportunities. Like I know, okay, 7 p.m., um, the lights will go off, the sun, the sun comes down, it turns... Uh, relatively blue and then you've got all these fire that's happening this is going to be a, a beautiful portrait reception dinner so this is a chinese uh, reception dinner here in kl so this is at four seasons kl uh, with decorate uh heavily decorated uh chinese team um that's the bride and groom of course um during the wedding dinner a lot of times when it comes to reception dinner, it's about us following your schedule of what, what's going to happen like on stage and everything. Um, between ha things that's happening on stage and between uh, the meals and also mingling around with people, there isn't much of us that, that's able to actually direct or push for photography or unless if you if people want to are uh, more than game to do something like that so that speeches is this considered backlight in a way but it's nicely exposed though i gotta say so these are dancing photos uh, of the brand group their first dance perhaps there you go Amazing moments. I, I just love moments like this. When when couple goes um, goes way beyond in planning their weddings, having these first dances, and when when we're able to capture photographs like this, you know these are it's really nice. It's a good feeling. They're just having a good time in it. He is sitting on a chair, being taken up by the boys. And she's playing the London Bridge. It's falling down. <laughs> Cracks me up. Um, certainly some performances by the bridesmaids and also the bride. And you can't see. I'm actually photographing in front of the groom squatting down. <laughs> the, the groom was actually on the reception, re receiving end of this dance, obviously. Um, not me. I took the shot and I moved away, right? Some sparkling, sparkly moments over there. And that's how it was done. Right, so 
So that's that's the portfolio introduction. That's a very lengthy uh, introduction, ain't it? It's, it, it? It took me like half an hour just going through all these uh, photos. Um, this is a very good glimpse of my work and mostly some of them are my latest portfolio as 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 uh, as uh, my last week portfolio was then the one that I shot at one and only at the Saru and let's take a short break right now with this imagery and take some question for the next five minutes or so if you have any questions please send it to me uh, you can type it in right now you know we, we can we can entertain some question while while we are just um, chilling a little actually right I did plan to put some music on one but I totally forgotten <laughs> one button press music you guys hearing the music good okay well thank you for tuning in uh this far and staying on and looking at the photos that i've captured if you have any questions this is i think it's a good time to just maybe uh write some of your thoughts and um if you want to ask about weddings you can certainly just ask me all right hey robin robin is in the house thanks for joining in robin No worries, Robin. Um, Robin says, oh, sorry I had dinner with mom and tune in late. Final dinner in Kuching before flying back to KL tomorrow. Have a safe flight and I hope your trip has been fantastic, Robin. This, this music sounds funny. Sounds funky, actually. <laughs> sounds like a... <laughs> it, it sounds like a the graded pawn music <laughs> okay i tell you what without further ado let's let's go into the main topic that i wanted to talk to you guys about all right so how do you pick your wedding photographer how do you pick your wedding photographer um of course john la <laughs> i'm hosting this one and then how do you pick your wedding photographer that's like asking for it right of course but you know it's not me i didn't say it look at that i've got i've got nicole nicole on the other side and say tips tip number one hire john low tip number two refer back to tip number one i didn't say it nicole is one of the bride that i shot in april not too bad eh <laughs> Okay. Those girls also chante, right? How a fat girl pick the photographer. <laughs> um that's a good point, I guess. You know, the thing is the thing is this. I think we look at things um everybody has their own perception of beauty, right? Think about if your partner's gonna get married to you, he proposed and the wedding is gonna happen and he's gonna call you his wife for the rest of the life. And if he if we try to <laughs> what am I gonna say? Um if he we we gotta try to photograph um the way he look at you you know and we have ways to photograph a lot of a lot of the photos that i make are really moments um a lot of those poses are, are timeless and they look good not just on um you know the the photos that i i show you guys it is for everybody the the the, the photos the the wedding uh, the brides and the grooms are all wedding couple they are not models you know so yeah I hope that answer answer your question Yvonne 
yeah, just look at the perspective of why the the groom the groom decides to marry you, right? Okay. So on a serious note, right? The cl cliche goes art is very subjective and it's really boils down to individual preferences. What I'm going to try to try to do is enable you to vet out photographers that you like and so you are able to make informed decisions to hire the photographer. I want you to be able to ask the right questions to get information you need to make those decisions. All right, that's why I'm doing this particular live. Number one, you gotta hire a wedding photographer because wedding photographers are the quite an interesting breed. All right, your friend who is a National Geographic wildlife photographer would not be a good choice. And I, let me tell you why. Now, these are there are great portrait photographers out there but they are not wedding photographers, all right? There are great fashion photographers out there, but they are also not great, uh, they are not wedding photographers. Now these are, there are also great event photographers out there, but they are not wedding photographers either. And there are product photographers out there, and they are not wedding photographers. You, you get my idea? Because, Landscape, for instance, landscape photographers, they're not wedding photographers as well. We wedding photographers, we do all that. We are product, event portraits, event photographer. Why did I type event again? <laughs> landscape, all combined in one. A portrait photographer would probably not move as smoothly as we are during a wedding ceremony. We know where to stand, we know where to be. All right. An event photographer would not be asking your wedding ring to shoot. Maybe they would, but would you want to take that chance? All right. A landscape photographer would po possibly not putting you in the landscape that they are, uh, they are shooting, right? So hire a wedding photographer, not a person with a camera. Now, photographers love to showcase their portfolio, right? If any photographers are proud of their work, they would love to showcase their portfolio as many possible who are willing to see their work. As much as I am hoping to instill some insights about wedding uh, photography for, for you guys, now this live session is me trying to showcase my work. Right? If you love their Instagram fo uh, fo uh, photographs, that's great. You know, If you find their style and color is beautiful on their Facebook posts or the 10 uh, featured photograph in their portfolio. Well, that's a good start. How come it doesn't show? Why? Uh, disturb my flow. Okay, there you go. So, but my 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 just is this you you want to go beyond their instagram grids and facebook posts or their online portfolios if you l don't stop just there ask if they are able to showcase an entire portfolio of the similar wedding uh, that you are you're hiring th that you're hosting and here's why the wedding is more than just a highlight of the day that 10 photos you want to see how the photographer shoot the portfolio pieces You, you want to also see the mundane group shot that the, the photographer would be able to shoot, right? If you want the photo... If you also want a photograph of everyone who attended the tea ceremony, receiving the teas and all, you know, you want to know that the photographer actually covers it, right? The entire portfolio gives you a good idea what kind of photographer uh, you're hiring. Is the photographer covering enough of the bride and the groom, the family, the bridal party, the event, the details? Now, besides, a lot of us charge more than just that 10 photographs of the highlight, right? So, start digging. 
Do I make sense? Let me see some comment over here. Amelia said, when you get married, you're most beautiful and no one can or will outshine you. A good photographer captures moment, if not some modeling beauty shots. Um, maybe I outshine the bride. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Now, if you, if you never ask an author about the pen he or she uses, why ask a photographer, right? Great book. Hey, <laughs> what pen did you use to write the book? So why are you asking a photographer what camera that they, he's, he or she is using, right? Well, I can think of some reasons, of course. I can think of some reasons. Um, is the photographer equipped enough to shoot a wedding, perhaps? Or does the photographer know the equipment and know how to use it? Or uh, you getting the best photo quality from the latest camera? Or are you a film photographer? Maybe you're hiring a film, uh, film photographer, that's why you're asking. Or will there be too much equipment that would take the mood out of the wedding? Because you know what? Too much lights, the mood is gone, right? Now, but you don't have to be asking about what equipment that they're using. All these are telltale answers from actually studying the portfolio that the photographer able to present, the full portfolio, right? That's hopefully similar to your wedding. The photographer, uh, the, the photograph, if I suppose the photographs, if it's sharp at the right places, you know, if you get the nice little creamy bouquets, the camera exposed, uh, the, the camera is exposed correctly, the ISO noise level is good. All these technical stuff will show in the photographs that the photographer showcases, like the whole entire portfolio, not that 10 highlighted ones, right? And when you view it, you will know. If you're satisfied with the photograph shown to you, then it does not matter what camera the person is using. For all you know, he's using that iPhone to take that um, wedding detail shot because, you know, iPhone got macro, his camera don't have, right? But it adds on into the portfolio. Instead of asking what camera he or she uses, ask this instead, right? What's the biggest print you've made from your photographs? How are your wedding albums? Can I have a look on the prints and the wedding albums? That will highly, you know, uh, satisfy your megapixel curiosity, I guess. You know, if, it, if they look great on prints, you know, at a big scale, you're sorted out. Maybe you can ask about me, you know, how do you deal with equipment failures? You know, do you have spare cameras? And that is okay, I guess. Right. But any any working professional should have uh, backups and more cameras on a wedding day. Sometimes it's difficult because photography is just like what you see on those photos, right? But it's just more than meets the eye and when i say that i mean the photographer itself because photographs you see is part of the uh, experience you remember from the wedding right the photographer will also be part of your memory hopefully the more experienced one would behave better or they are more self-aware and they are more professional now you want your photographer to be able to read the situation um, at a wedding well, you know, able to take charge of the photography and solve these photography problems when they arise, right? Like, how many times, right, you guys have been in front of a photographer, right, and the photographer asks you to pose, right? And say, uh, the photographer, this is, this is exactly what the photographer say. Hey, be happy and get excited, all right? One, two, three, be happy, all right? So that's like, how how am I gonna be be happy? What is be happy? Do I smile? Do I laugh? Do I how how is it? You know, perhaps maybe if I will be going into to do something like this, it will be like, all right, guys, on the count of three, I want you guys to raise up your hand, punch up in the air, give me your biggest smile, wave your hands if you want to. Ready? One, two, three, boom! All right, and that's maybe a happy, excited photo that I can make. So those are some visual cues, you know, um, of 
perhaps maybe um, a photographer would be able to derive from just like, hey, be in front of a camera, be happy. You know, how do you be happy? I don't understand, right? And there's no easy way of actually vetting a photographer like this, but to actually um, know the photographer, right? So have meetings, um, let them present their work and see their personality, watch a live session like this, you know, even better if you could, hire them for a portrait session, um, a engagement photo session around town for an hour, hang out with them, you get photos, uh, you get to know the wedding photographer and this is especially true if you are traveling with a photographer, right? Because you got to spend like a couple of days with them and you want to be able to hang out with them, with us. We are, <laughs> we are artists, we are quite eccentric. <laughs> Lastly, I think I want to talk about a budget a little bit. You can hire a wedding photographer from various ranges. Uh, uh, that's really depending on how invested um, you are with the wedding celebration, right? I've got, I know people who, who are getting married for a, you know, for the, they are doing the wedding, but they are on a smaller scale. They have not much of a requirement, you know, perhaps you just need photography for memory keepsake so that, you know, photography actually exists um, on your uh, wedding day. So then perhaps maybe photography is not gonna be your main priority. Um, there are also photographers out there uh, that are doing photography as hobby, right? And photographers um, and photography is their side hustle, and you may get a lot of value from hiring that kind of photographer. But if you're planning something special, you are invested on the nice venue, the best looking gown that you love, and you will want somebody with experience shooting your wedding. The more you spend on your wedding in terms of like the location, the wedding cake, your gown, the more expensive your wedding photographer gotta be because you're gonna spend so much already, right? And you don't have a wedding photographer to be shooting those things, right? What for? So just take note that some fees do uh, to look out for besides the service of a photographer, you are looking at if your wedding is in outstation, like the one that I did in out, uh, one and only, uh, you have travel and cost expenses. If your wedding is long hours, additional um, hours are chargeable, additional photographers uh, to same day at this, those are additional charges that you want, you want to be bringing out together with, uh, with your photographer when you, are, when you are interviewing them, when you are finding out things, right? Find a photographer that meets your budget and gravit and that you are gravitating to their work, right? Don't find one that you like um, and then ask someone else to be like them. Chances are you would not live up to it, right? If you like the photo uh, photographs that I take of other people and when you see the photographs that I take of you and your friends, it's more likely that you're going to like the photos. Okay, and that's about it. I want to talk about the tips of how to hire a photographer. I guess it's Q and A time. Let me just scroll down for questions. If you if you have any questions at, at all, otherwise I'll just leave you guys to be here. And I, I just want to also make sure that this slide is out there. If anything, if anything at all that you are not listening so far. Uh, this slide is possibly one of the more interesting slides where you can do research on your wedding. Um, we have wedding planners that I've been working with um, to videographers, to makeup artists and gowns and florists and all and whatsoever. It's all here. Take a print screen of this particular shot, um, you know, then you can research with them how to plan your weddings and reach out to them individually. Okay? I'm just gonna leave it here. Otherwise, guys, if you if you have any questions at all, if you want to ask me anything when it comes to say wedding photography, uh, this is my email. Uh, you can QR code, use your phone to uh, access the contact form, right? And I want to also uh, talk about this one. 
I'm actually planning a. Let me just uh, let me just move this over like this. I'm actually planning a portrait session. Um, with it's gonna be a pre-wedding thing, right? So, couple portraits in Langkawi sometime in April and May, and I'm trying to gather enough people uh, for the whole entire month of e either April or May, right? It's about a good a good thirty days. We we'll see how it goes, right? The more people come in into this um, group together, we are able to shoot. Uh, I'll be able to be based in Langkawi for a month and get these portraits done. So, uh, if you are getting married, that's the QR code, that's to the brochure, and uh, the, the packages are all in there. Have a look what we can do together. Um, there's gonna be makeup artists, you just gotta be there in Langkawi, and I'll be able to go around to shoot uh, your portraits um, in Langkawi, be it in the waterfall, in the open area and all. Even better, if let's say you want to be uh, hosted in, in um, in hotels, you know, in Langkawi, there's a lot of like five, six stars hotel, and um, hit me up. We'll be able to discuss and we see what kind of uh, uh, plans that you guys have. We can work it out. Otherwise, the basic one is over here. Just click on this. Uh, well, you can't click. Scan scan the QR code, then you will be able to see the brochure of how. Uh, this portrait by John Lowe in April and May 2023 in Langkawi, all right? Okay, we are almost, yeah, we are just about one hour in showcasing my work, talking about wedding photography and all. So uh, if, you, if you're watching this on face, uh, Facebook, I've got a YouTube channel with all my videos and uh, photos about wedding photography. You can uh, subscribe for sure. Uh, Again, QR code scan, subscribe, and then uh, you'll be notified. And um, I've also got a newsletter where I tell you guys uh, when I'll come live. So another QR code for you to subscribe is, is overlapping. Let me, let me change that. So that QR code is for you to subscribe to the newsletter. All right, there's so many QR codes, right? Crazy. Well, I didn't even bother putting my lower third earlier just now. <laughs> that's it guys that's it for my presentation any questions questions at all um, any questions at all no questions well this video is gonna be um, around on my Facebook uh, pages John Lowe Studios and it's also on my John Lowe Studios uh, YouTube video uh, live all right. So if you have your friends who are getting married, they're trying to figure things out, you know, uh, send them over to these videos and hopefully these will be able to help them in terms of planning their wedding better. All right. Otherwise, I, I guess that's it. That's it from me. Thank you for listening to my live session for an hour. Hopefully I'm able to compile another one. <laughs> My Apple Watch just uh, decided to answer that. Yeah, hopefully I can play another one and showcase a little bit more different kind of photos. We'll see. All right. Thank you for listening in and watching. See you guys. Take care. Bye-bye.